Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely help the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support. You know, heading towards your positive path, knowing and appreciating the fact that I can help you along that way as well just giving you information and knowledge you can pass on to you know another person who truly needs it so you know congratulations heading towards your new path and you know better days are starting to come for us more and more you know so pay attention to the signs so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you um have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when i'm about to upload my next video and if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction and if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or even good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend or anybody you think it truly needs it please go ahead and do so and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support i truly appreciate that each and every day and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um today i am my meditation music i'm listening to is called angelic healing choir plus guitar music uh, 432 hertz miracle music and I will post that link in the description box below y'all I love guitar especially that Spanish guitar it sounds so peaceful I don't know what videos I've been listening to my meditation videos has got me so calm and I, I had to thank the universe for that because it was like a rough day you know it took me a day off um and I hated to do that but I know I need to give myself a break because it's like before you know if you haven't been watching me for a while I had to take a break for like a month because I was like burning on fumes and universe said if you don't have a couple of seats we're gonna put you down so I you know I said I'm not gonna overdo myself you know I said I'm really I'm running and ready I'm, I'm about to start uh going back to my live feeds again probably about a week or two I'm just giving myself you know this chance because I'm I've just only been back probably about two weeks two yeah two or three weeks no three weeks so I'm just trying to get back in to the swing of things and stuff like that so I just don't want to overexert myself so um but today I'm doing um let me see what video I'm doing today Oh, when your when your spiritual awakening is taking you to higher levels, y'all, it's just like when we're going through these. I have so many. Inf uh, when I asked the universe to supply me some content, they gave me about twenty different ones. <laughs> so I'm just like I got lost. I'm like, hmm, which one am I gonna do today? Uh, so um, yeah, it's just like our spiritual awakenings. It can be so so hard at times, so so hard. But it's just like when you go through this situation and you know you're heading towards positive things, or you're trying to better yourself, you're trying to have a better career for yourself, helping to supply for yourself as well as your family, your loved ones, or whatever. We have to go through so many different things because you know things that you want in life especially if you're thriving high for is not going to be easy and it's like going through them spiritual awakenings they can be annoying you know annoying because it's just like with me when I, I don't just go through a spiritual awakening just you know there's sometimes I just went through a spiritual awakening and that was it but on top of that I'll go through a spiritual awakening kundalini ascension um just going through all the different things dark night of the soul i don't went through all of them all at one time y'all thought i was about to go bonkers i was like shoot am i crazy am i gonna have to you know put myself up somewhere or something you know that's the reason why i had to take off for a month you know it's like right before i stop you know if you you're just now starting to watch my videos and you haven't watched the ones from my you know about a month or two ago y'all was breaking out you know my face is still starting to break out um, I don't know if it's just because I stopped smoking and since I stopped smoking and, you know, I don't drink any wine or anything. I don't even drink anything. Lately, I've been drinking a lot of water if I have like a soda um, because it's like since I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, now my habit's picking up as Goomy Bears and Pepsi. So, you know, I don't gain like 10, 15 pounds from that. But, you know, lately, I started back working out again, going on nature walks and um, drinking a lot of water. I know the last couple of days I've probably been drinking about 
ooh, about eight, nine bottles of water, like back to back to back to back to back, even though it makes me go to the bathroom, you know, I'm just like, you know what, that's good, because I can't stand water, I can't stand the taste of it, but, you know, you, you have to it, you just you know you gotta drink it it's supposed to be good for you well it is good for you but you know these spiritual awakenings we can go through it can be hell you know it takes us through so many changes and it can get to that point where you're ready to give up on life as well as the situation as you're aiming for itself because it's just like you be thinking dag is this really this you know this you know worth you doing all these things and yes they are you know, um, cause there's times you probably want to get up, give up. And then there's somebody will come talk to you or you'll get a download or, you know, you'll get encouraging words. You know, everything happens for a reason. It's just like, I love doing my videos and it's just like, you know, you have to do what you got to do. I'm going to pause for that cause. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, y'all, I just know as soon as I paused that, it was like at 555 on there, 555. So, you know, you're going through some changes. So, um, yeah, it's just like we go through so many different things. You know, we go, have our ups and downs. We have our frustration. We have days when we just want to cry. And crying is very health, you know, helpful as long as you're just like you're not stuck in that situation. I mean, there are so many times that things are going on. I'm just like, I tell God, it's so unfair for the things that I've been dealt with. You know, it's so unfair that I didn't get to meet my dad before he passed away. It was just so many different things I was going through that I was so angry about. But then when I look at the situation in a different light, in a different perspective, you know, there's always something that happens for a reason. It can be so messed up in the world, the things that has happened to you for you to go through a situation. Because it's like most of the people that I know, they have either had a death or it was a certain situation that really traumatized them um, for them to have to go through that, for them to have to be able to see what they're going through. You know, just being an empath is hard enough as it is. It's a blessing, but yet a curse. You know, it's cursed because it's just like we, we cling on to all the energies in the world. We try to let go. You know, sometimes it's hard to even figure out. Sometimes it's like, is this my feeling or somebody else? Why am I feeling like this out of the blue? You know, and it can really, you know, especially if you got people around you is not going through that, they're going to probably think you're crazy worried about you like wait what, what's going on um you know is everything going on whatever you know is everything okay you know and it's just like I've been helping so many people lately and it's a blessing to me because it's just like when I look at the stuff from a deeper you know deeper perspective and a positive perspective I say look at all the people that I'm helping look at all the things that I'm bringing you know to light for them you know um it humbled me you know, I don't think I'm better than anybody else. I don't, you know, I don't look down at people, you know, because I say I try so hard, which is our human fault that I try not to judge because God can easily put you in that situation where you're judging somebody and you don't want that to happen. So it's just I catch myself, you know, and even when I start judging somebody, I was like, God, forgive me. Let me stop doing that. You know, so I'm trying to go about things in a different light, like. You know, me and my children were going through so many, so much problems. You know, we're you know separated because the fact is my my children are older. You know, my oldest one is 24. I got a grandbaby with her, and um, my middle daughter she just turned 21 a few weeks ago. And my baby she just turned 18 in November. So it's just like we went through so many things just because the fact is, you know, as me growing up, I was you know abused uh, almost any kind of way and it's just sad when you go through things like that you can pass it on to your children and it's just like when I, I try to be more open with my children because I didn't allow them to know what I went through as a child because it was just so painful and there was so many things I couldn't speak on because I was punished for it anytime I would speak on it so you know they're now starting to you know it's just it took for the death of my father for me to start opening up and you know it was really hard for them to believe or try to understand or even relate because they weren't in a situation like that they wouldn't know so it's just like now you know after my situation where me and my mom had an oil and water relationship and my mom had passed away and it was like right before that um me and my mom got really close and I was just like thank you God you know I always wanted me and my mom to be this way and it was so good but it was like I, I started hating God after she passed away I was like why would you give me my mother you know give her give me that relationship with my mother I've always wanted since I was a little girl because it's like after her my father broke up it really took her to a deep dark place so we were very abusive towards each other and then we when we finally did that 
you know, we got out of that situation. We, you know, we started going out on dinner dates, mommy daughter dinner dates. You know, we'll watch movies, we'll have a movie night and have a couple of drinks, and we'll stay up on the phone talking until two or three o'clock in the morning, or she'll stay at my house until two or three o'clock in the morning. You know, like what you do with girlfriends. And, you know, even though she didn't, she knew she was dying because she didn't want to, you know, deal with deal with you know holding on to the past she wanted to be able to have a peaceful death you know even though it wasn't peaceful for her but it was like the last moments of her life I took care of her you know and even it was a sad moment for me but I was so blessed that God allowed me to take care of my mom the way she took care of me and it was like when, right when she right before she was passed you know she was transitioning on um, passing away she came to me in a vision when I was asleep and um she has told me Roz, I'm so thankful that you were here to help me, you know, give my grandbabies a hug and a kiss for me. And, you know, I'm glad that you were able to take care of me. And I'm so sorry for the things I put you through. You know, um, she still comes to me and she was, you know, for the things I found out that was really painful for me. Um, she was already telling me before. She really couldn't tell me because she was scared I was going to leave her if I would have found out the truth then. You know, she told me, you know, your past is not very pretty. And, you know, for that, I'm truly sorry. And I said, it's okay, but, you know, things happen the way they happen. But it's just like when we go through all these spiritual awakenings, we can lose our parents. We can, you know, lose our husband. We can lose our wives. We can, you know, have a child, a child that died or all these other situations. And it, it takes for us to be broken, for us to find out the full effect of our life, our full of full effect of our purpose and it, you know that's a hard thing to be dealt with but when you look at the things that has brought you that tragedy how many you know that big tragedy you had to go through to get towards all this positive stuff you know it, it you know you kind of wish it didn't have to be that way but a lot of times mainly those times you have to go through something like that for it to you know interact that way so just be patient with yourself and look at your life and look at the situations you've been dealt with and look at the bigger picture of that situation and you'll understand why you had to go through that to get to that higher level. So I hope uh, you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. I'm going to go ahead and cut it short because I know it's going to take about five hours just for this one <laughs> to uh, go ahead and upload. So I'll go ahead and give another shout out in my next video. Much love, peace and be wild.